Welcome to the Cripple Creek District Museum. You've joined us at a perfect time because we've all come together for a reunion of Gold Camp Christmases from 100 years ago. If you're very, very quiet, you may have a unique opportunity to meet some characters from the 1890s. Now please be quiet, you don't want to scare the ghosts. And if you follow your host, she'll take you to visit the ghosts of Christmas past. Now, step with me into the past, into the Cripple Creek Room, where you just might have the chance to see Madame Pearl De Beard and her ladies of the Red Light District as they discuss their plans for Christmas Eve. Well, it's Christmas Eve, and I am going to throw the biggest gala that this town has ever seen right here at the Homestead House. Yes, Miss Pearl, it's going to be a magnificent party, yes. and we all have new dresses. Now, we can look at you, too. You look so pretty. Thank you know, I special ordered Pearl. those from Paris just for this occasion. Oh, thank you, Miss Pearl. Well, now let's hurry up now. We don't want our gentleman guests to be waiting. Yes, yes, I'll soon be ready. Gee, I wonder what my family back home is doing for Oh, Christmas. dear, don't worry about them. I'm sure they're doing just fine. And besides, we're your family now. And who, don't I take good care of you girls? Yes, you do. Thank you, Miss Pearl. Oh, sure. And Mary's cooking an elegant dinner oh, for us this evening. Um, and see here, Miss Pearl bought us gifts. Now, Nella. Well, it certainly sounds like they'll be having an interesting evening. Now step this way and join me in the Pioneer Room, where we'll meet one of Cripple Creek's local trappers. He has some interesting tales to tell about the wilderness creatures of the Rocky Mountains. So brotherly the day we fought over the carcass of that antelope, though. Should have just gave it to you. Dry old sage fed meat. Nothing. Nothing at all to compare with the sweet mountain green fed meat of a mule deer. That's a lot better eating. You! You weasels! I remember when you used to come into my camp, steal my food, raid my cash. Well, I was out setting my traps. Well, I fooled you. Left my traps set in camp one day while I was out hunting that boar. Yeah, stole your fur instead. A special reason for that boar, though. Yeah, me and my buddies were celebrating a grand year of trapping beaver. Yeah, we had such a grand year. Treated ourselves for a Christmas to remember. A whole fortnight. Pearl de Vere's. That was a Christmas present. Had one round of bad luck. Mr. Badger there. Yeah, you stealing the beavers right out of my traps, wasn't you? That is, till I took a lesson from old Eagle Eye. Yeah, I spent a day and a half setting up in a tree. Watching my traps till I caught you. It was worth it, though. Something special about that fur sure is warm. What are you looking at, you old buzzard? You got nothing to complain about. I fed you and Mr. Coyote many a good meal off the leavings of the hunt. Yeah. And I got a lot to complain about with you. Howling, yowling all hours of the night. The body can't rest. 
got tired of it, so I went and hunting you. Caught you too. I was just washing the stink of you off my hands. Old Moe's came up, knocked me out stone cold into the river where I drowned. Heard tell old Moe's killed at least two miners after that, before they killed him in 1904. Mm, that was quite a gory story. Why don't you come this way with me now and we will visit some of our turn of the century children preparing to celebrate the holidays. Oh, birds freezing out there. Where's Anna? That girl. Oh, look, isn't this the doll she wanted? Oh. much longer to do the dishes than I expected. Oh, sure. It didn't have anything to do with the young man on the corner now, would it? Ah! Well, which corner? Anyway, we're here shopping for Mother and Father. Christmas. What about Grandmother and Grandfather? We already got gifts for them. Oh, yeah. What about this pocket watch for Father? That's perfect. He's always losing track of time. Yes, but it's made out of silver. It's probably expensive. Yes, and we need to look more towards our... our... price range. Exactly. <gasps> look! It's my favorite book! Oh, Little Women? I love that one. Especially... Chapter 4. That's my favorite! What about this one? A prayer book. Since we can't get Father in the watch? Yeah, let me go for Father. Here, hold on for it. A winter set for Mother! And they're just the right colors, too. Boy, I sure could use some new marbles. My friend said he had some, and he said they're pretty expensive. Well, then, if you're asking, you can have them. You've answered your own question. If you absolutely must have some, you can always use pebbles. But they're not the same. <sighs> you know? Well, she's deep enough and well timbered. About time. We've been mucking out this stove for over eight years now. Yeah, only to die from that dang consumption. Oh, I'd do it all again for Ann. She was a good wife. Yeah, the things we do for our families. You know, I figure. Mother will ought to be right here on this level. Well, we're here now. And it looks like others are here. Look, there's even that crazy old Bob woman. Oh, man. Charles. Good day, Reverend. Merry Christmas, Molly. Good tidings to you and your family. Hello, Jim. We'll stop by the office later. We'll talk about them stocks. Good day, sir. Well, let's see what we got here. Yes, mother and father sent us goods from back east. Your son, Stacky's care. Ah, oh, Lily Langtree. She seems like a bird. I just so see her. Yes. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. If you want to go and take a trip like that, why don't we make it a week? How about two no, weeks? Two weeks. Oh, How's that? That's How's that? Fun. Yes. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll take and I'll make the reservations tomorrow. First thing, and I'll even. I sure hope St. Nick, Nick brings you all those wonderful special gifts that you're wishing for, but lay your head down and I'll read you that special Christmas story.
"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were oh, I can't sleep now. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads.